Hello, world. This is what kitchens around the world are like. The first country we're going to go to is the United States, and it's Hawaii because Aiko asked for a video of Hawaii. Hello, my name is Shay, and I live in Honolulu, Hawaii. Welcome to my kitchen. I have a gas stove. I also have an oven. Ta da! This is my baking stuff. And I bake cupcakes with a pink hand mixer that I got as a gift. And all the pots and pans go in here. Pots, pans, and all the dangerous things are over here. Next is the pantry. This is where all the dry foods and Tupperware gets kept. Next is the fridge. Ta-da! Himalayan pink salt. Lychee. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, it smells so good. Mom's drawer. Ta-da! The freezer has ice cream, of course, but it also has tea leaves in it for when we cook Hawaiian food. I have local avocado. This is from the Big Island. And papaya. And mango. And a dragon fruit. Thanks for joining me on my kitchen tour. See you! Next we are going to Canada, our home, yay! Hi, I'm Jessie and this is what my kitchen is like in Edmonton, Canada. So here is the kitchen. Stove, kettle, soda maker, sinks, two sinks. We use both, washing, rinsing, done dishes. Clean dishes, ready to be put away dishes, compost, dishwasher, appliances, fridge, chocolate milk, microwave, toaster, cabinets, so many cabinets, there's actually like so many cabinets, drawer, but still a cabinet. What are kitchens like where you're from? Where's next? It's Mexico. 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 Mex. Just say Mexico. 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 <laughs> Where's Mexico. next? Mexico. Mexico. No Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. Mexico. Okay, we're going to Mexico. Okay. We're going to Mexico. Oh, you got it now. Hello, everyone. I am Dolores from Mexico, and I will show you my kitchen. Here is the fridge next to the wash machine and here I wash the dishes. This is the stove and microwave. I like to cook Japanese style so I have a rice steamer and because it's a Mexican house we have a molcajete. Molcajete is for cooking guacamole or some sauces. I also love Japanese knives. And my kitchen is connected to the living room, as you can see. So when we have some parties, I serve the dinner here and they take it and eat there. So thank you for watching. Bye bye. Next is made in England. 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 Next is made in England. England! Hello world! Well, I'm from in Cambridge, England. This is what the kitchen is like. Let's go have a look. This is a fridge. It's where we store milk, ham, cheese, and de for definite fresh food. This is an oven. This bit down here is where we cook chicken and scrumptious cake. We also have a hole to cook pasta, veggies and pancake day. Pancakes. This is where we store our chopsticks. This is a toaster where we cook toast or pop tarts and have them for breakfast. Most people in England keep their washing machines 
in their kitchen. Because our kitchen can't fit the wash the tumble dryer in, it goes outside into the garage. Sometimes pe people in England don't like having plain water, so we drink squash. This is how you make it. Get a cup, pour a little bit of squash in, and put some water in it. Thank you for watching our video. What our kitchen's like where you're from. Bye. And next, what country are we going to? Morocco. And where's Morocco? I don't know. Africa. Hello, my name is Asma Maya. I'm from Morocco, and this is how a Moroccan kitchen looks like. First, we have the refrigerator. Next to it, we have the washing machine. Most washing machines in Morocco are put in the kitchen, so this is where we cook. Um, one thing that I want to mention is that both the oven and the water heater work on this. This is the gas tank. The window of the kitchen normally have a view on a space like this, where um, the, the uh, most like neighbors' kitchens have a view on. So. Uh, in Moroccan kitchens, normally you have a um, table. This one is quite big, but people have like smaller ones where you prepare your meals. You just break a chair and you can prepare your meal. This is tagine. It's very famous in Morocco. It is used in order to cook. Um, it is healthy and when you cook uh, using tagine, food has like a um, game and very special uh, and delicious um, taste. It is a famous dish in Morocco. It is called Taos dish, which is the um, peacock dish. It is used in Morocco uh, when guests come or when there is a feast or a holiday. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. Finally, we're going to Lithuania. Lithuania! Lithuania! This is what the kitchen looks like where I'm from. Lithuania. The kitchen is in the country, in northern Lithuania, where my grandparents live. It's in the same building with the garage, so obviously it's wider from the living house. We use it all year. In the spring, we dye Easter eggs here. In the summer, we prepare food for winter. And in the winter, we make delicious Christmas dishes here. This is a furnace. Sometimes we use it to boil food and to heat the kitchen. Otherwise, we use the stove. Let's take a look what's here. So, here's uh, here's the storage room. It's very cold here, so I like to be here in very hot summer days, like today. And if you'll heat the storage room, you can make a bathhouse out of it. Let's see what's for lunch. Sausages and potatoes. Lithuanians love potatoes. We like to decorate our window cells. Hope you found something interesting in my video and see you next time. Bye! Now let's check out Brazil. Do you know Brazil where it is? No. That's where the Olympics are right now. Oh. Yes. And the person in Brazil is yeah. not going to show Brazil medals. Yeah, there's gold medals, right? The person is going to talk about India, though. Do you know where India is? Um, no. That's where we get my tea from. Hi, my name is Nayana, and I live in Rio de Janeiro. I'm nine years old, and I really like your videos, Aiko. Last year, I went to India. What we were seeing, they offered me to have some sweet nuts. I said, okay, because... I love nuts. So she made nuts. But it wasn't at all like my kitchen. It was outside with a little little stove this size or something, very little, and it was made of mud. She got some sticks and made a fire. Then she cut some nuts and it was so good. Bye, see you next time. Oh, and say hi to your brother. He's the craziest guy ever. Welcome to an Indian kitchen. 
So this is our kitchen. It's an open kitchen which basically opens to the living and to the rest of the house. Uh, this is our gas stove which we use for cooking. This is the main slab, you know, wherein the dishes are prepared. Uh, the shelves on top is where we typically store our groceries and the rest of our utilities. So show you one of them. Uh, you can see that there are a lot of steel containers. So in India, very rarely plastic is used. So most of the groceries, everything will be stored in you know round steel containers like this. So we Indians love our spices, and spices are used in all cooking. So most homes will have a spice box, which will hold some of the commonly used spices. So as you can see, there are different compartments for uh, you know spices. Typically, there is turmeric, chili powder, salt, mustard, etc. Some homes will also have an extra rack for storing additional spices, like we have. Uh, another interesting thing that you will see is coffee filters. So Indians drink a lot of tea and coffee, and coffee is freshly brewed. So most homes will have a filter like this, where you put your coffee powder and pour hot water, and wait for some time, and the decoction will trickle down here. And this fresh decoction is then used for making coffee. Thirdly, pickles. So we love our pickle, and it is added to food. So most homes will have at least more than one type of pickle. You can see, you can see we have several. So these pickles are typically homemade by your mom or your grandmother. So I love decorating my fridge, and I have decorated it with the fridge magnets that I've collected from different countries. And hopefully, I'll add more. So this is our kitchen. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. We saw in the video that they had tables in their kitchens. Yep. Do we have tables in our kitchens in Japan? No, we are all too small. We're too small for yeah a table. What about? Did you see the one with the bed in the kitchen? <laughs> There's a bed in it. There are two types of kitchens. One is a big one that you can not only cook in, but you can eat in it as well. That means you can fit a table in. The second type of kitchen is a small one, like ours, that you can only cook in. So this slab right here also serves as our dining table. We sometimes sit here and eat our food. We usually eat in the kitchen, and not in the living room. So dining tables are pretty big, like you see right here. Um, this is how a Kashmiri kitchen looks like, just so that you know, Kashmir is a place in India and it's quite disturbed. Yeah. And we won't be showing our faces. Respect that. This is the sitting area in Kashmir. Oh. And um, every Kashmiri household has a sitting area. But in our sitting area, we have kept the mattress because um, we sleep here. So, first, this is the mini bar that my family and I usually use for having breakfast, lunch, and also dinner. So, we noticed a lot of people had dishwashers, but did they use them, Shin? No. What did they do? Um. Wash the dishes by themselves and just dry it with the... In the dishwasher. In the dishwasher. Our kitchen is too small to fit a dishwasher in. So there's no dishwasher, as you can see. Everything's hand washed and air dried. You wash, wash, wash. And instead of a drying rack, I use the dishwasher as my drying rack. Shin, do we have ovens in Japan? Um, yeah, but it's so small. Like, where's our oven? It's right like here. Only can cook fish. Oh, well, they can't see you now. But yeah, there's a little oven over there. And the sort of Mexican cliche we have is that we don't ever use the oven. So we just keep inside pots and pans or trays. Um, I have not met a person who uses their oven, or if they do use it, they try to keep it clean so that they can use it, but they still put their pots and pans inside the stove. Shin, would you like to drink water from a mud pot? No. I think it's a clay pot, maybe. Clay. Bricks. Is that a brick pot or something? Yeah, yeah. The clay, you make bricks out of clay. I think it's probably a clay pot. Uh, this thing about me is the water purifier. So in India, you really can't drink tap water directly. So most homes will have a purifier so that you know you can get clean water for drinking and cooking. 
and we drink water in the pots like you know this is a steel pot we store our water in the steel pot and here it is there's mud pot the difference between steel and mud is mud gives uh, more purity or chillness to the water we also store water in the fridge but still i i prefer mud uh, mud pot water we have a warm machine so we can uh, get clean water i drink water with a water filter okay shin what kind of drinks do japanese people drink um coffee and tea and milk tea and cocoa cocoa yeah. that's hot chocolate yeah, hot chocolate. This is a kettle. Well, we boil water to make tea. And you can see here the tea pot. My teas and coffee. Over here you have, um, these are Arabian coffee making pots. So you have to boil the coffee like in these. This is my favorite cup because I'm mostly a tea drinker and I had to get it. Shin, do you think our kitchen is small or big? So smug. Um, our kitchen is pretty small. Most kitchens are not like this. But um, yeah, this is what a kitchen is like where I live. And I live in a townhouse, which means that my place is smaller than average. And so the kitchen may reflect that and it may have different features to what other kitchens usually have. But I really wanted to do a video like this for a really long time, ever since I started watching life where i'm from i think the concept of it is really great it's creative it's cute and it's a lot of fun to watch so thanks for watching my video bye all right so that's what it's like where we're from in australia yeah bye everyone see you later see you later thanks for watching see you next time bye what is sweet like where you're from yeah we'd love to see what outside your home is like, so please go out and film your streets. And um, thank you for uh, making the kitchen video for us. Thank you all, and see you next time. Bye! And what do we want to see for the next video? Pet a popcorn day! No, not popcorn. <laughs>